Joy News has learned that anti tuberculosis drugs will be developed from onions and could sooner or later hit the pharmacy shelves or the pharmacy shops. Well, this comes on the back of studies that show a type of onion can help fight bacteria resistant to the disease. And uh, researchers already believe that antibacterial properties of the Persian shallot could increase effect of existing antibiotic treatment. A Ghanaian scientist, Dr. Cynthia Aminin Dankwa, has led a research team uh, whose finding has opened a new page in tuberculosis treatment on Science and Technology Thursday. We we'll put a spotlight on Kwame Nkrumah, University of Science and Technology uh, researcher and her work. At the KNUST Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences Cell Culture Laboratory, technologist Prince Dagadu Ochre prepares equipment for ongoing research. He works with Dr. Cynthia Amenin Dankwa, a senior lecturer who is passionate about finding solution to antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance has been de described by the WHO as the single greatest challenge in infectious diseases affecting both rich and poor countries. And this is as a result of globalization and trade and other things. She won a Get Fund scholarship in 2012 to pursue a PhD program at the University College of London School of Pharmacy. I joined a research group of Professor Simon Gibbons and his main collaborator, Dr. Sanjit Bakta, at the Institute of Structure and Molecular Biology um, at Bebek University of London. And what we did in the lab was to isolate and characterize compounds that belong to the genus Allium, with common members like garlic, onion, leeks, and chives, and then test these compounds to see whether they have antibacterial activity. In continuing study, the team conducted tests on four different compounds from the shallows, previously reported to possess antimicrobial properties. So after working for days and nights in the lab, um, our findings were that the compounds we isolated from one of the species, Allium stipitatum, showed antibacterial activity against a panel of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, as well as different species of mycobacterium, including um, clinical isolates from mycobacterium tuberculosis. The study report, published in the journal Scientific Reports, suggests the chemical compounds can be used alongside existing antibiotics. These are very interesting findings and we are very much happy about it. But it's still early days yet because um, this is just the first step in drug discovery. And we have to move from the bench in drug discovery to drug development and go through the processes of clinical trials before any drug gets to the market. 